Hello and welcome to the third episode of the Deaf Frontier Talk Show. Um, in today's episode, we have a couple guest stars with us. Uh, we have the Black Widow. Hey. And we have moderator Buford, as well hey. as Aman Vic. Hi. Hey, hey. Been on here once, here again. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously we have co-host The Observer. Uh, how you all doing today? Thanks for having <laughs> us, Joe. No problem. Thanks for being here. Glad you all make it. Yep. Okay, so today's episode is going to be based on the voice of the people. So we're going to be asking your opinions on concerns that have been brought up by various people in the community. To all you viewers out there and everyone on the show, if you start hearing any babble, that's my daughter in the background. <laughs> she's, she's probably destroying something behind me. I don't know. I'm afraid to look. So She's observer oh. number two. Right? <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. I'm, I'm the observer. I'm not seeing what she's not. Oh, never mind. That, that's um, there, there goes the lamp. Okay. Anyway. All right. Continuing onward. <laughs> All right. So, for the first question, um, what do you guys think are important concerns that should be addressed? Oh, that's a loaded question, actually. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a very loaded question. There's many, actually. Do you, um, do you have anything to add? Um, I think one of the biggest things that people complain about right now is definitely got to be sync and lag in the arena. Mm -hmm. If we yeah. fix that, you'd see a lot of fix in the community. Some people complaining about lagging issues or certain people lag lagging or having sync issues. But I know that's one of the main things that people want to see fixed. And I know Neil is working on it. But, and I'm sure that within the near future you are going to see an adjustment as far as that goes sweet Good to hear. that would be fantastic yeah. how about the inner city sink yeah what about that oh multiplayer well like i said um neil is working on multiple projects i know that he's working on stuff for the inner city as well as the arena it's um i don't know exactly the time period when it's going to be released but i know it's something that he is working on as well as neo sop and ian so it really depends on whenever they get all the bugs worked out and everything like that. It would be really nice to see actually the private lobbies that were in 2D. Yeah. Uh, that way you could host your own groups and probably that itself would take care of lag actually. Yeah, I miss 2D. For reasons like I, that. What about a clan system? Yeah, a clan Ooh, system. A clan system would be good too, like so we can clan mm -hmm. war. That would be sweet. Well, clan the issue with the clan system, system is that you have to figure out what exactly you want to add with it. There was a base clan system that was made a couple of years ago, but what all Neil wants to do with the clan system, what all he adds to it is something that he needs to figure out. But don't you think private lobbies would take care of a clan system as well? Because you could invite other clans if you wanted to have a friendly clan war. You could, you know, have your own private lobby, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, private lobbies, um, it would help because obviously now you can F2 people and you can try to follow them, but there are sync issues where people get kicked out or you might be missing one or two people. And obviously if you're in a clan war, there's a chance for outside interference. So private lobbies would add the element to where it can be a more secure environment with potentially less lag and only the people you want to show up showing up. I think that would be fantastic personally. Right. Well, I, I don't know. The other thing I, w I have a big concern about that I hear about all the time is the scamming that goes on in the game. Yeah, there's definitely some scam it's going on. Though. Yeah, that's huge. how we need a trading system. We need like a huge. more advanced trading system. Well, to be honest, there's nothing I really want to do about that. There are going to be people who are going to be dumb enough to fall for a scam. I mean, the only thing a trading system is really going to fix is if you item for item trades. But right now, pe there are middlemen. People are too impatient to use middlemen right. there's only so much you can do i mean I games know. like Escape, when you have a quote-unquote advanced trading system people still get scammed there's always going to be scammers true mm -hmm. so I, I do see the point to having that but it's not a easy fix that, like people think it can be yeah nothing's perfect with things like that well at least it added the comma so people <laughs> don't have to worry about like typing an extra number or like or not a short of a number or not enough right. yeah Right. Exactly. So the commas help people actually set the right price in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we hear the observer's baby, but we don't hear observer himself. <laughs> the observer is observing the baby. No, there he is, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm I'm here. I'm here. I actually do have a question. Go for that it. Maybe maybe you may all have an opinion on. Now, with Admin Pawn having all these updates, and now I say these, I say updates in quotes. But uh, the reason for all these updates, I I want to know what your opinion is. How would these updates like? What effect do they have? on the overall diversity of the Dead Frontier community? Um, is there, <laughs> well, I mean, what what specifically well, let, let, let would you like to ask on that? Can you, like, maybe narrow okay. that field down? Uh, let me elaborate. You know what? All these weapons that, that Admin is releasing, all these small little perks and treats that he does, I'm, from what I've seen, I'm seeing a Dead Frontier community. You're seeing people who are getting all pissed and riled up like a rattler in heat, and then about uh, <laughs> why are we getting all these weapons when there are more important things out there, like, you know, server upgrade or, you know, the sync and lag issues being fixed. And then you have this other group of people who are saying, you know what, no, these new weapons are good, that it's really going to help improve the game. And then again, it goes back and forth. you got like a North and South Civil War. One side saying new weapons are crap, we need to stick with the old buff dusk, all that old, you know, that old argument there, and you got this other group. And from the way I see it, there really isn't much of a community as more of factions and great gangs out there. Where do you stand on this? What do you, where do you, you know, where do you side with? I side with both. I think both are really important. He's got to compete with new games that are out on the market. And, you know, new characters, new clothing, new armors, new weapons. But he's also got to think about the community as a whole and all the complaining that's done about the lag, the sink. Um, those of us who have earned our dusk, for example, um, I never ran for TPK or Top Survivor. I grinded to level 200. Um, I sunk a lot of money and a lot of time in earning my dusk and with corpse weapons basically being better than my dusk that I worked so hard to earn, it's a little frustrating actually um, I wish he would do something about that, I mean you go for dusk for a reason because it's supposed to be the best of the best and it's not Right. it's a, sort of like a money kind of thing part of it but the other part of it is just so he can like help like those in the game that don't but have us so it can go either way. Well, why did he have create dusk in the first place? If all he was worried about was money. You have to think about it from those terms. I mean, he he releases new weapons, limited edition, to make money. Because yeah. he makes money by selling credits. But why did he create dusk? Obviously, he wanted players to be able to strive for something great in the game. Something that's better than everybody else had. Something you could earn. So if I look at it from a business perspective, I can, you know, definitely see the money part of it. But as a gamer, you want to have something to shoot for. Dusk is something to shoot for. Yeah, but let's be I, fair. I have there to are agree, some. Oh, sorry, what you can talk. No, that's fine. I'd have well, to agree, though. But um, you know, it's just it's not it's not really that uh, fair. I don't think because it's not the gear that makes the fighter. It's the fighter. Right. Well, yeah, to be sure fair, too. there are some dust weapons out there that are actually better than all the weapons in general, like the dust enforcer. Like, it's still the best pistol in the game, in my opinion, due to its it limited ammo and how much damage it actually puts in the zombies. And which, uh, what I liked about Neo is that he actually boosted the dust enforcer, which I thought was pretty cool. Now, if he did that for other weapons in the dust shop, that would be even cooler. So maybe well, you should consider that. Well, the DMAG. Well, well, the DMAG would be nice because yeah. the Corpse Destroyer is better than a DMAG. Yup. So, Observer, um, do you have any questions you'd like to ask at this point? No. Maybe my daughter does, but uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> well, actually, there, there is something that I, that I did um, that I did want to mention, actually. Sure. For the opinion there, and and um, this is actually a concern that I've been that I've been noticing has been going on for not just a few months, but almost almost a year. Ah, oh, crap! What was it? Uh, 
I'm gonna see like a hundred different things at once over here. I don't want to um of course this this might be directed more this might be directed more towards uh, Buford here, but from what I've seen, I've heard a lot of complaints and seen people concerns that mods have not really been doing their job as good as they should be doing. Now, I don't, I'm not taking any side on this here, but it's just, from, you know, I, of course, you know, people will complain, people will bitch and whine, people will bitch and whine, but... I want to I want to hear everyone's opinion, including Buford's on this. I mean, I know mods have a lot on their plate, but I want to know how, what what go what goes on behind the scenes on, on some you know on on that. Hmm. Is it is it that there's that too much problems that there's not enough people to work it, or it's just that some problems are just better left alone that they'll die down. Well, I think the big issue is that. A lot of people assume that the mods don't do anything when, in fact, we do take care of a lot and a lot of people don't see about. For obvious reasons, I can't talk about a lot of what we do discuss. In well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not asking. I just want like a basic, you know. Oh no, um, but with the mods we have, I mean, between me, um, Nada, Aki, Plucky, Hell's Kitchen, and all the admins, we are usually pretty busy. And they do do a great job of keeping up with things. Obviously, we can't be on 24/7, so. There'll be periods to where stuff might slip through the cracks, but usually, whenever we do get a report that somebody has been scammed or if there's a thread that needs to be taken care of, it gets taken relatively quickly. People say that we don't do we don't do our job correctly because they don't like the way we handle certain situations, whether they're not benefiting from it or if they feel they've been wronged and we don't do anything about it. But a lot of the stuff is really out of our hands. There is only so much that we can do. And we cannot show bias in many situations. I mean, if somebody from the Scott Sentinels was scammed, I might feel ridiculously sorry for them, but I can't restore those items. I don't have that ability. So a lot of things that people will complain about are really out of our control. Gotcha. That makes sense. Hmm. Well, I'm sure they have to pri I'm sure they're probably so inundated with work that they have to prioritize their Yeah what they tackle first and I'm mm -hmm. sure that some things maybe aren't as important as other ones and other people feel if it's a problem with them that it, hey this is my issue and it's important to me but there could be bigger fish to fry at the same time I don't know yeah. Chris you can mention, answer that <laughs> not to mention all those support tickets that probably get piled up well you don't deal with the support tickets Um, it's usually the admins that deal with that specifically Ian, or Zayla, not entirely sure I say your name. Sorry, Ian, love you, but I don't. Ian's one to do with the support tickets. Um, but like, we usually go out of reports on the forums, or I'll get barrage of messages in CB about people being scammed or having this or that question. It's, we, do, we do prioritize to an extent, but whenever something does come, we do try to take care of it right then, or at least bring it up to an admin if it's something that we can't take care of. It's one of the things where... We might know about it, but because an admin's busy with something else, it won't get taken care of for a couple hours. Like I said, there are certain things that are out of our control, certain things that we can't do. So it really depends on what the situation is, who is online, and different things like that. Mm -hmm. One more thing I would like to say about Buffy, about the whole bias thing. Like, I'll give you... Ah, a lot of credit for not being biased and whatnot. But that's a shout out to everybody. Since seeing Buffy, he is the leader of SS. Don't just assume that just because we're at SS, he's going to side with us. That is not the case. Nope. Because I, for one, can tell you that Buffy ripped me a new one, like, more than numerous times on different situations where I've been into arguments with other people in the game. And I have also been banned by Buffy himself on multiple <laughs> occasions. So... I, for one, can tell you that he is not biased at all, and none of you should even consider any of the global mods biased because they do it as in a community standpoint, not as a favoring an one side over yep. another individual okay. standpoint. Mm -hmm. Well, going off that, it's one of the things where we definitely, I wouldn't say that we aren't biased. I mean, I am biased towards the SS, but at the same time, I don't deal with situations involving the SS. In the same way that Aki wouldn't deal with things with his friends, or Nada wouldn't deal with things with his friends, if something is involving the SS, I pass it on to one of them. 
because yeah. if there is a complaint, I don't want there to be any assumption that I was the one who did it, that I was involved with any way. I mean, like you said, I've banned SS members before. That's one thing. But if somebody's involved with scamming or anything like that, that's something I'll pass on to somebody else and say, look, these are my guys, they're my girls. I can't do this. You need to look at this for me. So I'm not the only one that takes care of it. I mean, all of us are pretty, we try to stay as unbiased as possible. And if there is a situation where we do know the person, we pass it on to somebody who doesn't necessarily know them as well. That sounds fair, you know. What's the next topic? Yep. Well, I really actually asked all that I wanted to ask. I think I think we can probably go on to final thoughts or, you know, last opinions or anything of that sort, you know, of anything, something anyone well, wants to bring up. Seeing as though this uh, episode is focused on the voice of the people, um, what are some things you guys um, would say to the community or to the viewers that are watching to help them get more involved, you know, with the community itself and, you know, just mm. overall improve, you know, the DF community? I would just say Dead Frontier itself will provide you with every single thing you need. There is absolutely no reason to beg, absolutely no reason to come to somebody and say, oh, I need this or buy me that or support me on this. Um, I think it would just make the community better as a whole. Get involved with a clan. Um, there's some great clans and there's some not so great clans in the community. Um Boy, treat one treat one another how you would want to be treated. I think that there'd be a lot <laughs> less scamming and a lot less hurt feelings if people would just treat one another how they want to be treated, not flame each other on the forums and take one another's items. Um, but it's a good community. I'm involved in another game, and this community is just something I've never seen. And I don't know that I'll ever see it again anywhere else. Um there are people that I will take away from this game for my life that will be involved with me the rest of my life. And I don't know that you could say that on every game. That's true. That's a very uh, valid point. Well, then again, if, I... if anything, you, know, let, you go ahead. <laughs> Ladies first. That's what I thought. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> there's also there's also that issue of uh, people underestimating underestimating people. Mm -hmm. Explain. It's, it's annoying, but it can be entertaining as well. But no one should. Explain no what one you mean, like underestimating, like people with egos, or exactly. Ah. Nobody <laughs> should be underestimating anyone. You know, hey, if, I, if anything, look. Every time I log on to Dead Frontier, I keep very. I, I always feel like I'm logging on to Facebook. You know, <laughs> status updates. You know, people liking, disliking. What's going on? You know, we, you know, we sh Dead Frontier. You know, Neil should really implement a like button on the forums and a dislike button. Yeah, a dislike button. You know, I'd be clicking that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Just like Facebook, Neil, right? I have carpal tunnel. Would I? <laughs> From all the clicking, I've developed carpal tunnel. Just like this, like this, like <laughs> auto clicker. Jesus Christ! A little, next thing you know, you're gonna have a dislike button for, just for the game itself. <laughs> <laughs> Support. Oh, well, there you go. At least that's something. At least that's something everyone agrees on. Look at that. This is one. This is one. This is one for the books right here. Right. Exactly. Dead Frontier agreeing on something. That's wow. <laughs> Somebody break the champagne open. Yeah. <laughs> already been done. Oh wait, you've already got the cork in your mouth. Right? <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> yeah, the bottle's empty though, so you oh, know. Um, wow. Yeah, I'm 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 a, I'm, a, I'm in a bit of a tight situation, so. <laughs> Understandable. Don't look at me. I ain't sharing my vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I have a huge bottle of wine I can open up. We can drink some wine. Okay, sweet. Sounds good. Sharing is caring. That, that's some, somebody, at least somebody cares right there. <laughs> sip, sip, pass. Sip, sip, pass. That's right. Uh, well, I feel like that joining a clan is one because when I first joined the game, I was lucky because I had friends on another game that actually played this game with me. So I was already ahead of the game and actually having friends on Dead Frontier. And 
I first thing I thought of was joining the clan, joining the clan, which I did. And another thing I did was going in the arena and and actually communicating with the people in there. That way I can get to know them more, get to see like the basics of the arena, talk to some like good arena players, and maybe hopefully they can like give me some tips, talk to me and whatnot. Same goes for the inner city. Like you just could just head out right in for a passer because I can't tell you how many people enter the floor in one minute. It's like 20 people that enter the floor passer. So nice. you can easily just communicate with them and actually like maybe do a four passer mission with them and whatnot. Or the find wiki. a boss like two up and wiki. The wiki is really good. The wiki gives you a lot of information actually. Yeah, That's how I found out about class. Yeah, but you have to also put in consideration the wiki is is also player made so it can be edited at any yep, time yep. so you can't really exactly take all that information to heart no exactly. you can't but it gives you a good baseline for things because right. i i didn't even know how to talk in the inner city i think until i was like a level 35 <laughs> um honestly <laughs> i didn't i couldn't talk to anybody people would talk to me and i'd be like how do they do that <laughs> scratching my head oh no i remember the first time i uh i i uh, i accidentally turned on pvp but hey. that, that was because that was because some <laughs> asshole told me to like press, press P to team. Request. Yeah, party yeah. yeah, press P to team, and I was like, oh okay. And this guy turns like yellow. I'm like, oh sweet, I'm gonna be in the same side as him here now. <laughs> that and <laughs> that don't work so well. <laughs> I pulled out like a fucking mini gun, and that, that was it. <laughs> Pull out a baby. So you fell for yeah. the oldest trick in the book, then, huh? <laughs> yeah, and that's sad. And I used to be a marine. Look at that shit. Wow. Yeah, pulls out his beta and like gets mowed down by a GAU. Like, what happened? So uh, I'm just yeah. gonna butt in here and say if anybody has any like final comments, any final notes you like to add, you know, for the lower level players out there, you know, because it's definitely harder for the lower level players to get into the game, you know, well, to make know, a name Vic for themselves. Well. You know, Vic and I actually have two lower level characters that we started making videos on to help actually other lower level players that learn how to true. play the game. And I know that there's other people that have done the same thing, but you can learn a lot from people who are willing to take a couple minutes and pass their knowledge forward. True. Um you know, work with people. There's sometimes I'll go in the arena and it's late at night and there's a couple people in there and I'll work with them on, you know, their melee skill or their shooting skill and, you know, just take a couple minutes. It's not that yeah. hard. Yeah, I think I think that would actually be pretty nice if you guys did that because from what I've been seeing, you know, people making names for themselves. Now, that, the only thing that's now common is, you know, people play the game for a bit, reach like level 20s or 30s. And then they start going on forums, start being a forum or making post after post. Most of it doesn't even make any sense whatsoever. Well, either that or they, you know, the other thing is that I have to say the Northeast has just been flooded with tons of lower level characters that are screaming and yelling about, don't make aggro, don't do this. Well, single player. <laughs> It's all about go SP. Into, go into single player just don't, or just don't, go don't there, even you know? go there until yeah. you're ready to be able to handle just that go to the kind south of aggro. Side. Because we higher level players live to fight aggro. I mean, it's what yeah. we've built our character up for is to be able to just go grind or just, you know, take a be able to take my striker and just blow everything away or make aggro for that, for that matter. Right. Buffy, you want to say anything since you're all typing on the Skype? Yeah, he's been uh, thanks for calling me out, babe. Um, <laughs> last thing I really have to add is mainly just kind of what Lisa referenced earlier. Cut the complaints. Mm -hmm. I see people complain all the time about Neil should do this, Neil should fix that, mm -hmm. and right. whatever the crap people complain about. But at the end, if you think you can make a better game, go play it or take some time off right. because Neil does work just as hard as anybody else on this game. It is his job, and I know that he can be faster with some of his updates. I'm not saying that he isn't, but if you think you can do better, go make a game yourself, because it's always fun a lot, the complaint threads, and I get, we get a good laugh about it in staff chat, but it gets a little obnoxious. So any final notes, anybody? Or is that about mm. it? The Frontier is like a family, if you really think of it, about it, just because the same people play for like years after years, which makes the game so great, because you don't really have to see any new faces in the game. 
and you get to really know the people better and you don't have to worry about them leaving the game because once you join DF you can't really seem to get out of DF <laughs> that's true well I mean if you're really embedded with people like I said there's people that I will be once I leave this game I will be taking a few people with me <laughs> Wow, so you make, definitely... it sound like, make it sound like you could do mass suicide over here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be. I've got some Kool Aid ready. Anybody thirsty? Oh yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's just do it. Right, we all have to party up one day. You all can join in on that. I'll just rule the world when you're all gone. <laughs> Dictatorship. Oh you got you got a solution for everything, don't you? I I do. Oh. You got a problem with it? Oh, <laughs> so, Joe, yeah, what's up? seeing that you asked us all questions and whatnot, and you planned all this out for us, do you have any more questions for us? And did we say everything that we wanted to say to you? Or did, you I believe did we, we have them? enough uh, info here to make a good damn episode? Guys. All right, that's good. <laughs> so, um, definitely, thanks everybody for uh, joining us here. Yeah, thanks you're for welcome. Having me. Hey, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me as well. For the second time. Oh, yeah. I'm okay, ahead. Okay. We look forward oh, to seeing. <laughs> yeah, we, we look Lou. forward to seeing more people in more episodes and looking forward to seeing you guys in more coming episodes as well. Yep, definitely. Yep, so. Hey, not a problem. I see Widow left. Uh, that's, I don't know if that's supposed to mean anything. I guess she had her, her share. She was I think dead. She she's gonna drink her vodka with gonna have to stop. She's gonna drink her vodka now and rule the world. <laughs> Alright guys. <laughs> Everyone grab your Kool-Aid. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Yeah. Thank you, Observer. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> Alright, thanks, thanks guys. Cool. Thanks for having all of us on the show. Yep, shout out to everybody listening and thanks for tuning in with us. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you all liked it and we'll see you guys next Join in for the next one. Yep. We'll yep. see you guys in the next few future episodes to come. All right.